Hey, it's Lucy. Coming to the end of my PhD and the question everybody asks me is, what are you going to be doing next? There could be better times to be finishing than at the beginning of a post-pandemic global depression, but the world is still turning, there are still options, and so the binary choice that needs to be made first is, do I want to stay in academia or do I want to leave? Academia means the path you're on right now, so you're working at a university, a research institute, maybe a museum, your job title in future could be postdoc, assistant professor, lecturer, you have to bring in grants, you might be expected to teach, that route. And not academia means everything else. The academic career path has a lot of strange quirks that make it unusual to most other career paths. And in considering my own future and considering what I want out of my career and my life, I keep coming back to how objectively terrible academia seems. However way you look at it, academia is instability. When you start out, your contracts will be two or three years at a time, maybe five if you're really good, which means as soon as you found one job, you need to already be looking for the next. And if you can't find one, that's the end of the line. You have to create those jobs yourself by bringing in grants. Some jobs will come pre-designed that you just interview for, but the higher you progress, the more you will be expected to be bringing in that money yourself. And if you don't win those grants, that's the end of the line. You have to move around all the time, never mind city to city, but hemisphere to hemisphere, not just because your work is so specific, but also because there seems to be a culture of proving yourself by working in different labs. And if you're not willing to do that, that's the end of the line. What about buying a house? What about your partner's job? What about seeing your family or making friends that will last or putting down roots and becoming part of a community? That can't happen in academia. Not until you get the gold dust permanent position that everybody dreams of, which is statistically unlikely when you look at how many PhD students a single faculty member will take each year. Someone has to get those positions and maybe it's you, but it might very well not be. A common pro I hear for academia is you can work when you want. You can come in early and then finish early. You can work from home. You can take a week off and no one will care. And this is true. You can choose when to work your 60 plus hours a week. Embedded into the very culture of academia itself, at least here in the UK, and I've heard better, I've heard worse elsewhere, is work. Academia is not a nine to five job. In the evening, at the weekend, on your holiday, we all know we're all contracted for 37 hours a week, but the unspoken rule is if you just work that, you will be left standing. Those gold dust permanent positions are so rare that for every one of those that exists, there's bound to be someone who's willing to work more hours than you if it means they'll get it. Unlike most jobs I can think of, you can't stand still in academia. You can't just say, oh, I would like to keep doing this postdoc. I I'm not really interested in bringing in big grants. I like these small projects. It seems to me in this career, you have to run just to stay still. You have to always be fighting for the next promotion, whether or not you really want it. And these things, they're pyramids, right? You, you cannot all get to the top together you can only have a few people who make it, and that might not be you. So why in the world would anyone want to be a researcher? Why stay in academia? Because you get paid to study something on the edge of human knowledge. You get paid to cure cancer. You get paid to understand the origins of the universe. I got paid for four years to center my life around Mars. That's amazing. I got to recreate the surface of Mars in my lab and design experiments around that, and then Pursue the ones that interested me most. Who gets the luxury to do that? If that's enough for you, then the moving around, the being at the mercy of grant bodies, the instability, that's all worth it. And if it's not worth it, then it's not worth it. That's your answer. Whether you want to stay in academia or whether you want to leave. For me, it's not. And that's my answer. Thank you for watching. I'm about to bring out a whole load of post-PhD videos, so if you're looking to the future, then please do subscribe. My name is Lucy Kizik, I'm a fourth year PhD student at the University of Oxford, and take care.